Hey, welcome back into today's video. Repzilla here. Um, we're back with another episode of Exploring YouTubers, a playlist where we talk about YouTubers who have had a severe lapse in judgment and just done some just not okay things. And in this series, it doesn't matter the size of the YouTuber. In today's episode, we'll be talking about uh, Dan Sullivan. You've probably never heard of him. He's not a very big YouTuber for good reason. So if you're unfamiliar with Dan Sullivan, he's a YouTuber with uh, just 16.6 thousand subscribers. He's very small, but he, he what he's done has thoroughly upset me. This is the type of person that does things that makes YouTube implement uh, the horrible rules and laws. It's people like this that uh, make it worse on everybody else. So essentially what has happened is this man uh this dan this dirty dan uh, uploaded a video where he was abusing his dog he was making out with his dog um it was very graphic um created a lot of backlash around him uh youtuber diesel patches did a video on it if you guys want to check that out i'm gonna put it in uh the description below but I'd like to see Dan Sullivan's channel deleted. It's uh, an attempt to be edgy, gone all wrong. Um, these YouTubers that attempt this edginess and just shock value, uh, it's crazy. Uh, let me show you. What I'm about to show you is pretty gross, so get ready. I'm not gonna show you the worst parts of it. Uh, somebody's uploaded it because he did delete it. As you can see right there in the thumbnail. That's disgusting. Oh, you're a little feisty boy. You're my little feisty son. So, what you've seen is what you've seen. Um, probably the worst part about this is this person doesn't really have a grasp of what they've done and how how ups, how they've upset people. Um. They're making videos, pl uh, playing off the drama. Uh, the thing that bothers me about this is I don't know what these types of YouTubers expect uh, what, for their name to go down in history to get a little bit of hype and buzz. What, what are they going to be proud of do, from doing things like this? It, but you can see uh, the last two videos that he did upload looks like uh, the cops came to my house. I'm so sorry. I love my dog. He's got another one reacting to hate voicemails, comments, and DMs, and he's extremely happy while doing this. What's up, you guys? It's Dan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I... I don't know what that was. Just generally, you can see how happy he is to have attention at all. I am accidentally in a scandal right now, and I don't even know what to say. It literally was all an accident, and I'm not even just saying that. If you would have told me that when I uploaded that video, I would have got the reactions that I got, I would have never uploaded the video. I'm not even kidding. A lot of times when you hear people talk and they say, oh, if I, if I, knew, if I knew I was going to upload this video, it was going to get, so it's usually something happy, and they're like, you know, happy about something happy positive happening but this dude's uploaded a video of him uh hurting his, hurting his dog um i would say definitely emotionally hurt that dog and he is so stoked he is so happy about this and that's it infuriates me there are people out there who genuinely think that I abused my dog and people are saying that this is borderline bestiality and crazy, crazy assumptions. And first of all, I just wanted to apologize. I really do want to apologize for the people that I offended. This was not meant to be an offensive video. Behind my head, I thought that I was just making a funny, cringy video that people would just laugh at and be like, what is this kid doing? Like, like Let's read a couple of these comments here. This whole behavior is a mental disorder. The way you're acting is not normal. Just hearing him trying to defend himself just makes me even more mad. 
I'm sorry that you thought it was bad for me to do. Okay, boomer. I didn't think that people would be so serious and call the police and make multiple reports to the police in my town. The police actually showed up to my house and were questioning me regarding this video. And that is because you guys blew up their phones. They told me that at the police station, their phones were off the hook regarding this video. And I did not know that I could cause this much controversy. I was like, what is this? It's clear that this dude is way too happy about, uh, the attention these are the types of people that you don't want on the internet and the reason i'm making this video is because uh raising awareness to point out uh these types of things will not be allowed on the platform these types of things make the platform worse this is why we're getting all these uh rules and regulations it's people that do this type of thing and i want to ask the uh, my audience to not uh give this person any attention at all uh, not even a, a dislike. I don't, this person needs to stay irrelevant. This is a person that's canceled themselves before they even rose to be anything. And uh, I'm just really upset. And then my Instagram was getting blown up. My entire Instagram DMs right now are just blown up with hate. People telling me to kill myself. People telling me that I deserve to be in prison. Just crazy, crazy things. Like, I had people call my local animal shelter. I had people email the ASPCA. Not think that me uploading that video would get this much backlash. And going like, as you can see in the beginning, Away. he did run away and I cut the video when it cuts to the end of me laying on the bed and going like as you can see in the beginning of the video that was all filmed beforehand and then I went to go look at the footage and I didn't like the angle so that was all before when my dog I'm just done with that video uh, he does another video where he's reacting to the hate equally as happy <laughs> what's up you guys hi it's Dan and welcome back to what are you what is he doing with that let's need a moment my youtube channel oh my gosh you guys <laughs> you guys i am like kind of excited to film this video today i am going to be showing you my hate voicemails my hate text messages my hate comments my hate dms I'm just done. It looks like that dude keeps consistently sticking the straws up his nose from his drinks. So there's that. Uh, just looking at his, uh, the titles, it does look like uh, he's all about the shock value. Um, um, I was asked to look into this and this is the epitome of what the Exploring YouTubers playlist is about, um, where we highlight and we we talk about these types of uh, issues. Um, to me, it does point to a bigger issue. I've seen a rise uh, in within the last year for sure. Of it's, honestly, it's since uh, it's since Danielle Bregoli was on Doctor Phil. I'm I'm not pinpointing in Doctor Phil as the issue here, but it does seem like it, it's uh, this has pushed forward a whole new generation of. Uh, people that just feel like by acting out by acting bad by not being good uh they can get attention and convert it into into money uh convert it into just hype around themselves and i, I want to say that that's that's not how it is it might look like that uh at first but you got to think about the future you got to think about um Y your your kids your grandkids looking back on this how are you going to feel how is this how is this going to be something that you're proud of um people have been asking me what can they do in these types of situations uh even talking about lovely peaches which i covered back last year uh, these types of people you just can't give them any attention at all it's clear that they it's clear that they're having some issues it's clear that they need some help and by playing into what they're doing, it, th these types of people are easy to identify. And when you see these people, um, don't give them any attention. I wish when stuff like this happened that YouTube would uh, take it out on those who are directly responsible, rather than uh, changing rules and guidelines and different things like that.
But as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative render interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. This is, uh, water. Well, I've been upset a lot this week, though, so uh, you might be able to tell from my videos that my my emotional uh, well-being is just, I'm in triggered triggered mode, 100%. Like, uh, I was trying to figure out what uh, words in my videos, maybe my outro intro that was causing the, the continuous demonetization of my videos. I don't know what it is. I'm still going to be looking towards it and trying to figure that out. But uh, I do want to give a shout out to Ghost Chili, the uh, artist that made the art on this shirt. I'm going to be uh, selling this shirt in the merch store for the rest of, of November. I just want to uh, thank Ghost Chili um, on, from Instagram. If you guys want to hit the link in the description, uh, go send her some love for making this art. I even got stickers of it, and it's up in my room and everything like that. I really liked it, and I really appreciate her for doing this. Um, I hope to do more things like that in the future. Uh, like I said, um, it, we do have a podcast coming out, which that's going to be fun. We're just going to talk about relationship stuff and just anything that just uh, get tips my mind. Uh, but if you guys have any other topics that you want to suggest about exploring YouTuber series or anything like that, things that you want to hear my commentary on or things that you feel like my platform needs to be... Uh, used to put more attention on definitely uh send me an email or hit me up on twitter i know content's a little bit weird right now but bear with me uh we're gonna get back to like a regular smooth flow here soon hopefully i'll have everything figured out in december but uh i know that you're repping if you're not repping you're greg and hey do that i gotta subscribe to notifications turn on be in the comment section after every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat's gonna be there and the rest of the rep swap community as well and i expect to see you there too because this channel loves you I really tried to articulate my Rippin' and Greg in there because I'm really trying to make sure that I articulate my words so that the the robots, the Terminator robots, don't think I'm saying something I'm not.